to a degree. But don't forget, in the last 13 years since the Tories came to power, we have seen a major drop in living standards, major lack of investment in public services, and the poorest people in the land are absolutely struggling and starving. And the richest people in the land are absolutely creaming it off, selling all this stuff to their mates, who are doing very nicely, thank you. There has been a major transfer of wealth and assets from us to them, in that last 13 years and people are starting to notice because they're starving um, and the powers that be at the top don't want us to do anything about it they don't want us to blame them and it is undoubtedly their fault they want us to blame each other they want us to blame him next door who looks a bit different they want us to blame that person there who's married somebody different to you they want to set us at each other's throats now i think logically most people know that but newspaper owners, uh, station owners of things like GB News, it's their vested interest to preserve their wealth that rather than us look at them and think, hmm, that we fight each other. Now, it's my job, therefore, to point out how petty and ridiculous and silly those arguments are because they're not getting offended because they got offended. The Iceland thing was a wind-up by Iceland. They're getting offended because somebody told them to be offended. They haven't been offended over other interpretations of the St George Cross on football kit. There's been loads of them, loads of them. Even UKIP did it. You know, there's been lots of them. They didn't get offended then because nobody told them to get offended. They're only getting offended now because they've been told to because we're coming into a general election cycle and it's far better for parties like reform and the tories to have us all looking and go oh it's his fault it's his, not his fault it's not his fault it's their fault blame them use your vote and stop listening to who you've been told to hate <laughs>